Hey guys, I want to talk about RV defense for a few minutes. Um, I want to preface this by saying you do not have to own a firearm. You do not have to like firearms. You can say whatever you like about firearms. You can have whatever feelings you want about firearms. This is my feelings on firearms and, and defense. It doesn't have to meet yours. So... Uh, I've been carrying legally for the last 21 years, maybe 22 years. I have a CCW permit. It's never expired. It's always been current. Never let it expire. I usually carry a Kimber Warrior 1911 all the time. Uh, except for where I'm winning shorts. When I, if I'm wearing shorts... I will switch over to my uh, Sig Sauer P228. It's a nine millimeter. It's a medium sized gun. It's nice for uh, concealed carry. Whereas the 1911, I'm more comfortable with, but it is a bigger weapon. It is harder to conceal, um, and it's just a little bit of a pain in the butt sometimes. If you, especially if you're wearing shorts. Um, when we're camping, so I'll, I'll always have a handgun with me. That's just part of my everyday carry. Um, when we're camping, I like to carry a Mossberg 590. Standard, pretty standard. You pick them up anywhere. It's nine rounds. I usually load it with um, buck then slug, then buck, then slug, then buck, then slug. Um, when we're camping, this is the main part that I would go for if someone was trying to harm us while we were camping. I've had it for a long time. It was, I, it might have been one of my first guns I ever bought next to the uh, Sig Sauer. Um, okay, so let me talk about my feelings on self-defense and why I carry in and while camping um, the reason why I carry is because uh, in 1991 or 92 during the Rodney King event catastrophe um, I was assaulted uh, I was unarmed I was just barely out of high school um, and I had no way to defend myself against five other people started carrying soon after that um, my friend's shop was burned down to the ground uh, he was unarmed he couldn't defend himself so I've pretty much been carrying ever since then I've, uh, I do training quite a bit at least twice a year I shoot an IDPA I shoot steel challenge I shoot three gun I shoot F comp I shoot a lot every weekend just about I'm shooting uh, I've made it into a family deal my, both my boys shoot uh, we just have a blast we've got it down we get home in a couple hours and we do other things um, so that's my feelings on why I carry every day why I carry when we're camping a lot of people will say well wh where are you camping that you need to be packing <laughs> well, it doesn't matter where I camp but I happen to camp in National Forest um, BL, BLM land fire roads out in the middle of nowhere this is where we go camping I carry because I can't carry a cop in my truck they don't like it a lot of cops don't like camping so <laughs> So I, I can't, I have to defend myself, I have to defend my family, that's my job as a husband and a, and a father. Um, lots of places would take an excess of an hour to get to, even if they could find us. You know, I'd have to give them GPS coordinates sometimes. When we're camping out in Sequoia National Forest, there's no way a ranger's going to get there in time. Um, so I carry this shotgun. Uh, the sound of the racking of the round into the chamber would probably scare about anybody else away. 
I'll tell you a story. Two years ago, we were camping at Barton Flats in San Bernardino, uh, east of Jake Jinx Lakes Road. And as far as I could tell, we were the only ones camping out there. Uh, late at night, around 2 o'clock in the morning, some kids pulled up. or I don't know if they're kids. Someone pulled up next to us, about mm, 25, 25 yards maybe, and started shooting. Uh, it scared the bejesus out of everyone. I grabbed my shotgun. I looked out the window. I couldn't find anyone. couldn't see anyone. I opened up the door. Uh, I racked around. And as soon as I racked around, I heard, oh shit. And then door shutting and someone hauling ass away. I don't know what their intention was. I don't. I don't know. But it couldn't have been good because they saw our trailer there. They knew that they were going to scare us. They might have had... Uh, bad intentions the fact of the matter is I was prepared to fight and bad guys usually don't like that so they left and thank God I had what I had so if I went out there with pepper spray I would have to get close to them and a bullet goes a lot further than a 15 foot of pepper spray besides that I don't really believe in pepper spray I don't believe in less than lethal because the only time I'm going to pull out a weapon is in case someone was trying to harm me or my family. Um, that's the only time I'm going to pull out anything. That's the only time I'm going to uh, initiate uh, self-defense. And if it comes to that, I'm not going to pull out pepper spray because if it sprays back in my face... Uh, then I would be out of the fight. And the bad guy might not be out of the fight. If someone breaks into my trailer, our RV, and I spray, everyone in the RV gets maced. And that's not cool either, because then everyone's out of the fight. And again, you're just um, hoping and praying that it affects the bad guy enough to take him out of the fight, but it might not. You don't know. So I'm not a big fan of pepper spray. I don't want my kids to go through it. I've, I've been hit with CS while I was in the military during training and it sucked and I hated it. I'm not doing that again. Um, so the only time I'm going to pull out my weapon is if my life's in danger, my kids' lives are in danger, my wife's life's in danger. And if that in danger, if their lives are in danger, I'm not going to go to less than lethal with them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring the fight to them. So anyways, that's what I carry when we're camping. Shotgun and some kind of handgun. Um, it's my feelings on pepper spray. If you're a pepper spray fan or bear spray or wasp spray, I've heard of people using. God bless you. That's great. That's not for me. Um, that's my, my view on... Um, Keeping guns safe and out of the hands of kids is pretty straightforward. I trust my kids. I don't trust your kids. That's why I keep my say my uh, guns locked up in bio safes, something I can get to relatively fast, um, just to protect your kids, uh, so they don't come in here and start playing around. So, I think I covered everything I wanted to. Thanks for watching. Bye.